China's National People's Congress has wrapped up its annual meeting after handing President Xi Jinping a precedent-breaking third term. Many of Xi's allies have also been handed top government roles. The parliament has approved the biggest government reorganization in years, revamping some ministries and forming a new financial regulator. Speaking at the closing ceremony, Xi said that China must become more self-reliant. He also vowed to modernize China's military amid mounting tension with the United States over Taiwan. From we should strengthen national defense and army modernization, building the People's Army into a great wall of steel that effectively safeguards national security, sovereignty, and development interests. We should actively promote the peaceful development of the relationship across the Taiwan Strait, resolutely oppose external interference and Taiwan independence separatist activities. And let's get more. We are joined by correspondent Fabian Kretschmer, who has the view from Beijing. So tell us a little bit more about what she said. Yeah, I think his speech was not really um, surprising. Most of his talking points were to be expected. Uh, a core message was on economic self-reliance. Xi Jinping repeated several times that the uh, country uh, should pursue technological autonomy, meaning that China um, yeah, should not depend so much anymore on the West, for example, for uh, semiconductors, etc. Uh, also, a big message was um, uh, concerning national security. He basically mentioned that he wants to turn the military into a quote-unquote great uh, wall of steel to safeguard China's interests and that um, yeah, stability and national security is the precondition for um, prosperity and development. And then towards Taiwan, yes, he's uh, basically repeated the usual claims that China um, wants to promote unification, that it op op opposes any um, uh, foreign interference and also imposes um, independence activists. And But he did not mention, uh, according, uh, actually, in contrast to previous times, um, a military threat. I mean, he usually, um, sometimes he would say that uh, China would not rule out uh, military means to uh, reach their goal. This time, this passage was left out. Meantime, there were other big takeaways also from the Congress. Just walk us through them. Yeah, I think uh, during the National People's Congress, um, the um, growth target for the year is always set. I mean, the economic growth target. And there was a little bit of a surprise that um, uh, for 2023, uh, the target is set at around 5%. That is relatively modest compared to the baseline of last year, which was dominated by lockdowns. So it gives you um, kind of a sign that China wants to push away just from uh, numeric growth and, you know, wants to reform the economy and uh, yeah, emph put emphasis on the quality of growth. Um, besides that, I think it was remarkable that the, the rhetoric against the West was really very harsh, especially during Qing Gang's press conference. Qing Gang is the new foreign minister and he was constantly accusing the US, also the West, while at the same time prize, uh, praising the relationship with Russia. And also Xi, Xi Jinping himself, uh, during a speech, he was um, accusing uh, the US and sub, several other Western countries of um, containing China's rise. And that was a really uh, very rare uh, direct criticism that usually is issued by other diplomats, but not by Xi Jinping himself. So that was really remarkable. And in general, of course, this whole National People's Congress was a demonstration of power by Xi Jinping. He put basically all his loyalists into core um, uh, positions within his leadership. So I think the message is clear that, you know, um, the country is uh, firmly governed and ruled by Xi Jinping himself. Fabian Kretschmer in Beijing. Thank you.